Oh, hello everybody on YouTube. This is the Blade Dragon. Indeed, you are. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my friend uh, Brian. Say yeah, hi to hey, the world. What, what's up, YouTube? Uh, we are going to be talking about a, a fairy tale fighting game that we are going to be making. Potential. Potential. It's like a petition. It also has a lot of potential. <laughs> Duh. Um, yeah. Yeah, so um, for the past couple of videos, I have been talking about um, I've been wanting for a fairy tale, fairy tale fighting game. And I released my own petition too, but I only have 200 likes compared to um, Dragon Blade. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, you had a whole bunch. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I think Bano Namkai should do a, a fairy tale fighting game since that was a very you know um, fairy tale is a popular anime. Besides, is you know doing Naruto, um, JoJo's Bizarre, uh, what else? One Piece. They've been doing that, but we didn't, they haven't gotten a lot of love from, from other anime franchises and. It's not like Fairy Tail isn't popular, and it's not like it doesn't have amazing potential to be a fighting game. It's pretty much built to be like that, just like Naruto, One Piece, and DBZ. Yeah, oh, yeah. basically. I mean, what's the only reason I can think of, which is a BS reason in and of itself, is to some people, Fairy Tail is like a joke, which, of course, to some people it is, and that's kind of stupid because yeah. Fairy Tail is Fairy Tail. You look at it and critically. You can nitpick a bunch of aspects out of it, but honestly, it's a great series that everyone should get into, and it's got tons of potential for a fighting game. Uh, it's, they they have some a lot. They have a lot of like crazy fights in fairy tale. Like, I know. Some, yes. Some are like extremely high. Yeah. Like, <laughs> plus, like most of the fights will make for great boss battles too. Hell yeah. <laughs> they make for great AMVs, let alone boss fights. Yeah. So I mean, look at Azuma or Hades from the from the <laughs> yes. Oh. So, here's the thing. If it was produced by anybody, I feel like it would be produced by Bandai, Namco, and CyberConnect 2. Yeah, Because yeah. they make the Naruto games really well. And I can see the same exact formula going in for a fairy tale fighting game, except with some modifications. Like, um, if there was a fairy tale fighting game, I would like it to be um, like the Naruto Storm series, but at the same time, I want some scenarios where it's like, um, One Piece's Pirate Warriors. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, there should be a system similar to, I haven't played that many, like, Naruto Storm games. I've played a few, and I've played uh, a couple DBZ fighting games also. Anyway, what I think should be in Fairy Tale because a lot of the fights, you might notice, there's, like, a, uh, power struggle, and then the main characters go down, and they're weak or whatever, and then they power up. Like, Erza versus Asuma, again. She gets hit by the Terra Claymore twice, and then gets the power up, and that would be like, that would be that kind of last minute desperate struggle situation that maybe the yeah. uh, some modes like that would have. I'm just, I don't know. So like 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 um, I'm trying to think. Like quick time, like quick time like events, quick right? Time, like yeah, time maybe, time. but yeah. not. <laughs> Maybe, kind of. I mean, not like, hopefully not obnoxious quick time events, because they can be done wrong. Yeah, I know. Oh, God, they can be oh, done yeah. wrong. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're right. If, if like, you want the perfect example of a wrong quick time event, Resi 4. Oh. The Jack, the Jack Krauser knife fight. Oh. An entire boss fight of quick time events. <laughs> like, uh, I, I, would prefer, like, I would prefer, like, uh, how One Piece Power Warriors 1, it had quick time events. Like in during the levels, or you can have it between boss fights, like in the first storm game. Oh, but, yeah. Um, yeah. Like I, I would prefer that. Like if they ever made it, uh, made a fighting game on fairy tale. Like I want how, how like the first one was. Like you go from the first arc, you know, it first one like the beginning of the story, and then it go to like the arc you face Jarrell or something, or and then you know expand from the games app from um up to now right now. Like where the anime is going or the manga is going, but um, I feel like right now, just the PS4 and Xbox One now, like they have the power to make this game be as hype just as Naruto Storm and or, Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Yeah, and One Piece Pirate Warriors Three. <laughs> oh my God, dude! The one the DVC movies are being milked like a lactating cow. <laughs> <laughs> 
Literally, I mean, I don't care how good they are. I mean, I don't even know. I haven't seen Battle of Gods yet, but still. Dude. It, it's being treated like Toriyama is just like, Golden Cow, I, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so where should we start? Should we start, like, on the battle system or, like, the where the story should, like, end up? Um, because like I said, with the story, how the story should be, like, since it's going to be first introduced, it's going to be, like, the first... Um, you know, well, not necessarily the first um, fairy tale game because we got the game fairy tale games on the PSP and the DS. But since we're gonna have our own unique um, fighting game, I think they should go back to the first season, um, beginning of fairy tale. You know, leading up to the arc, maybe like I said, versus with Jarrell. and um, uh, that's why I think. That's why. What do you think? Um. I was actually, I'm not gonna lie, I was actually thinking about this, like, for a while now. So, because, like, there are many situations where this could end up. Because, like, I, because, um, I was thinking, hey, maybe this could end in the Tower of Heaven arc. Or, hey, maybe this can end off in Atlas. Or, hey, maybe this could end Ending off in, um, yeah. Ted Ryu Island. Yeah, Ted Ryu Island. But, if there's a spot that I feel like would fit the ending towards the first game the most, I feel like it would be the Arashio and Sace arc, or the Edelus arc, because basically, the Arashio and Sace arc, you are left with, like, hype, you're left with, like, what's gonna happen next, what, like, um, Wendy's just introduced, and she's coming into fairy tale, yeah. and, uh, and it's like, what the hell's up with Mystigan still, and Lox is leaving, and everything. I think I like that part, because, uh, when, you, when they introduced Wendy, she was uh, a drag slayer, everybody didn't know, that, know about it. Plus, I love the fight when, um, when Lucy had the fight, what was it? I think Angel? Was, Angel, yes. I love Angel. <laughs> <laughs> I love Angel. She's like, one of my second female <laughs> characters between, compared to, um, who was it? <laughs> Urza? Well, I like, well, Julia? Ur Urza's hype. I like Urza. Mm -hmm. uh, like, let me, let me talk about the battle system. I don't know how the battle system is going to work out real quick. Because, um, like, I don't like how Ray, like, in the battle system, like, if you do a punch or do a, like, a cutscene, you'll see, like, one part he got his shirt on or shirt off. <laughs> and then, yeah, I was I like, oh, I would love that. <laughs> you know, I think Grey is the strongest mage in fairy tale. I mean, who else can take their clothes off that quickly? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this should be, like, taunts in the game. Oh, God, no. Yeah, that, that, that would be awesome. That would be priceless. <laughs> Yeah, just for the simple fact, like, next thing you know, you're fighting, and it's, and like, right before you do your, like, ultimate magic technique, you can have Grey take off a shirt and be like, alright, let's do this! <laughs> Grey versus Natsu, bring it on, you ice bastard! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that! That would be so great. Oh my god. Yeah, but, um, but some characters, I don't know how they will play, because you know it got Lucy, she is, she is a celestial mage, she you got, got the keys, yeah, true. and Urza, she got different equipment with, um, change her outfits, so I don't know how that will play during the battle system, okay. compared to some other characters, like Natsu, he just used, uh, like physical attacks, and same thing yeah. with Dodge of, co of course, Lucy's, uh, ultimate attack, or whatever, if we ha if that was to happen, would be the, uh, Ureno Meteora. Yes. But, or, or, if you go, like, later in the series of games, if this were to happen, later, it would be summoning the king. True. Uh, but, she mean, never got, but she never got, did she ever got the king key? Uh, have you read Tartar's Ark? No, not yet. Oh, in the, okay. Okay, in the Tartar's Ark, basically, she does summon the Celestial King. Uh, but it, like, comes at a cost. It basically. does come at a cost. Uh, we're not gonna spoil that for you, because uh, we've got... <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's pretty intense, but uh anyway. Okay, okay, back to the battle system. I feel like their each character's moveset would be like the Naruto Storms uh, variation of movesets. Yeah. Like up combo, down combo, left and right. But at the same time I feel like they would have different variations of the Dragon Ball Raging Blast two or one like kind of feel to it, like this action, you'll do, like, summon mini, like, magic bursts or something. 
and uh, we can't include that OP charging system from Raging Blast 2 because you can just oh no attack, spam oh. at that game. No, okay. Here's how it should be: the ultimate attack should only be available once you hit like um your last life bar or something like that. Last life bar, dude. But what if? Oh, good point. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that'd probably be best. I mean, that's the the biggest flaw of Raging Blast 2. I had so much fun with that game, but seriously, you can just, like, specifically with Hachiak, you just, like, get to your bar, and then boom, and then get to your boom. <laughs> made the story mode a piece of cake. <laughs> um, uh, I think as far as movesets go, I think it's pretty easy to, like, come up with one straight from the show. I mean, specifically, if you look at Ultimate Attacks, Nazi's got the good Baku, uh, the whatever the blade thing with his hands. Yeah. Gray could do a. Uh, I wonder what Gray's would be. Would it be ex uh, Ice Bringer? Would yeah. it be obvious? It would be stripping! <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, because that would do no damage to Juvia. <laughs> oh, oh, nah. You know the way? I think if, um, if Juvia versus Gray happen, I think this, like, if she faces him. I think to to have that like same effect like a um, storm like in a storm series. Oh, like how Cotton like, like versus, yeah with yeah. Sasuke. Yeah. I yeah. Think, I think they should do that. At least have like a little. Maybe she damage. does like half damage for every strike. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that would be perfect. She she is she was one of my favorite females from the entire from the beginning she was introduced. I love her. She's like one number one favorite. Okay, you you haven't read the Tartarus arc, but seriously, she has some freaking amazing moments in there. She does. Oh man. Plus, they're pretty much confirmed at this point. I guess another I guess another element that would be added would be like team attacks. I guess. If if you would like want to like have support. Team in attack, Grand Natsu for the Tartarus arc. He do starts out with the. Do you think we have support? Do you think we should have support? Like, um, like how Naruto got support? Do you think we should have support? Or just have, like, one on one? Oh. I okay. think it should. I think it should work the way RB2 did it. Because RB2, you had the option of one on ones and you had your own ultimate attacks. And then with variations on your team battles. Okay. And that would allow you to do the, uh, like, the ultimate attacks that are different. Like, this, the spear bomb thing with Goku, and you, like, knock back Gohan does it or whatever. Oh, yeah. true, and then, like, with, like, it could be, like, Gray and Juvia doing a combination. Oh, Gray and Juvia, you did <laughs> great for the movie. Yeah. Um, and plus, hey, we could probably have, like, shipping team ultimates, like, yeah, Urza, and J Urza and Jalal, Natsu and Lucy, Natsu and Lazana. Uh, you could not do Grey and Lucy. No. no. I mean, they are an abysmal couple, and I don't care what anyone else says. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen quote-unquote arguments for those two, and it's just like, they're level-headed and, and in, uh, attractive people. They should be together. Yeah. I'm like, dude, even Grey and is a better option, and they're not even that good. Yeah. Uh... See, this is the thing. This is the thing about fairy tale. Most people see. They see people yeah, arguing about just, couplings, some, and they're just like, "This is stupid." Like some people like to ship Natsu and Urza together. Like, uh, oh, we we have a God. friend who likes Natsu and Urza. <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> um, but it's it's kind of weird. You see those people who act like hipsters in that regard. But anyway, uh. I agree. I think the team attack idea, the whole like uh, two pairings or whatever, yeah. is that's a really good idea. Or it could be like that one kind of scenario where like some people have like two, like two people have a team ultimate. However, you have that one three, like that one three parter um team ultimate like um not too great there, so. Or Natsu, Wendy, and Gajio. Oh yeah, with the uh, with the whole thing with the metal dragon and Edelus. Yeah. By the way, that was a great scene, also. Uh, no. Um. What else? Like, I how, think... many, how, how many characters do you think we should have? Oh boy. I personally um, think like thirty or fifty. <laughs> there are a lot of characters in Fairy Tale. The thing is, most of the uh, the important ones, the move sets are pretty much built in. With, oh, yeah. I think the hardest movesets to come up with, though, would be Lucy. I mean, like, would she have specific combos to summon a sp specific spirit? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess, like, up, down, B, summons cancer. 
Please say he gets killed off. <laughs> um, cancer. And then, like, like also, when she could be blocking, she could, like, summon out, um... Tor Taurus has... Taurus is ineffective no, no. against females in battle. <laughs> <laughs> Juvia? Not Juvia. Juvia would be like half damage against Gray. I mean, she did attack him when he, she was part of a uh, Phantom, but still, she was like, well, being Juvia. That's all we can say. Yeah. I was thinking about Loki. Like, yeah. Taurus Loki oh. will be against, like, fight any female kind of. Always. So I guess Lucy versus other chicks, you've got a disadvantage if you like to spam yeah, Tauros. You probably, yeah. probably got to use Ur uh, Aquarius. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Um. Let's see. How about custom move sets? Custom move sets. Each character gets different attacks throughout the series. So, say, uh, let's say Lucy, for example. I mean, she gets different spirits. She gets the three from uh from Angel after the arrest in Cesar. Oh, story. true. You could like customize it. Do you want Aquarius or do you want like Scorpio or whatever? And maybe maybe you get a bonus if you have both. I was thinking about that, like between like Lucy and uh, like Urza, because they got different um. They have different right armor now. and stuff. I was thinking like when you go on the menu screen. And when you about to pick one of them, you know, you could pick with key or what kind of outfit, like for Urza, if you pick Urza, you pick what kind of outfit we want to go in battle. And that depends what that different moveset it has. Like, I think, well, same thing with Lucy, well, depending what key you pick, you would get different moveset. Like with Urza, maybe uh, when you're fighting Loxus as Urza, like if you choose the Thunder Armor, then you get like a... Uh, like a quarter damage taken off or something because he's still pretty so powerful. I, it wouldn't be cheap, but at least it's not like three quarters of the damage is removed when you're fighting Loxus. I mean, he is Loxus after all. <laughs> he one shot the entirety of Ivan's guild. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I just want to bring see. something up about characters now. Uh, we all know what characters are would obviously be in the game. I mean, you've got the main trio of Natsu, uh, Gray, and Erza, Lucy, Wendy, Gajio, maybe Loxus, depends on what point in the story we're at. Basically, most of the people yeah. from the fairy Yeah, world. most people yeah, from the guild, but maybe we should include some of the, like, uh, less important ones, like Levy. Oh! There aren't that many of them. It depends on the character amount that they would max. I mean, you could have all the villains. There are enough villains in Fairy Tale, like uh, Leon in the second arc or whatever it was. Um, let me think. Oh my god, Hades would be so OP, but we probably wouldn't get there. Would. No, no, um, for characters, I'm kind of wondering this. Would, um, okay, it's basically about, like, the X seeds and stuff. Ba mostly, like, Happy, Carla, and, uh, Lily. Lily. Would they be separate characters, or would they be like support? They be they they should be support. I mean, the yeah, actually don't do much in the series. Or sh could they like could there be an option where um you could be paired up with like um their like friend like on the menu screen it could be like um do you want to have happy pair up with Natsu forever for like this battle or something or so, something like that I don't know but yeah I think they should be supports instead I mean um, happy uh, the ones well, they can happy, happy I kind of want happy as a playable character because I need to kick my ass I need to kick my friend's ass oh happy. my god <laughs> I have to because he, like, he's a happy uh, he's a happy fan how how priceless would it be if you could play as happy and beat up Loxus? <laughs> or like, zero. Like this move that he can use his fish to attack you and stuff. Like <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that would be great. And again, he would do half damage on Carla. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I understand they gotta think of a move set for Happy, but because you know he barely fights in the show. Yeah, but, except <laughs> in like Edelus for like a short amount of time. Yeah, yeah. and in uh in Tartarus he does something. It's not fighting, but he he brings a uh, jackal up in the air, and then gets an afro. <laughs> uh, Alright, yeah. so I kind of I kind of want Midnight in the game, probably as support or 
or um, playable character. Either or, support or playable. I think, I think I think Midnight would be a playable character. Yeah, because she's a villain that is in the URC with Chase Arc, and she has at least a built move pool. She could be primarily defensive, because that's how her magic works. Okay. You should you should see the fight she has at uh, Tartarus. Do you um, remember that? Uh, oh. You know you don't remember Joel versus the entirety of the rest of the taste? I don't think so. I don't know. Um, he uses a magic named after a movie that came out in December. Oh, wow. oh So much. Okay, I don't even know what that's named. Uh, okay. If there's one thing that's on my mind. That's like, like back to the story aspect. Like, okay, would it be like? Simply just cut scenes and then boom, you're in a fight, or would it be like open world? Be like travel to this place in order to like maybe like a for example, story, like environment. Like for example, um, you're in like the fairy tale guild. You go to the message board. You're like, do you want to accept this mission? And you say yes. You can like literally like go out, interact with other people from the guild, and like. Kind of like how the Naruto Ninja Storm uh, series has been doing it. Well, yeah. Um, I'm going to throw out an idea that's uh, kind of similar to an obscure non-fighting game. I'm going to make a uh, comparison to Shovel Knight. I mean, what if it was like you said, where you go to the guild and there was like a hub where you could get, uh, you could accept missions, you could like go to the bar and buy uh, healing items in battle or something. But you could only carry a limited amount, because how overpowered would that be? Yeah, um, I think you should have, like, two items for, like, four slot. But, like, if you use the D-pad, you're going to have two, like, eight, like, two helpful things you will have for battle. If you use them, go back to the guild, you can buy another one. But I do uh. like that, I do like that, I do like that whole, whole world, um, hub area. Because, like, um, in the fairy tale portable game that was on the PSP, that you can go around the guild and talk to other people, and interact. And then when you go to the message board, you can um, pick a pick a mission. Then you go into that battle and you face any monster or character. Maybe there would be up. like wandering travelers, oh, like after uh, like after the fighting festival arc. Maybe you can find like Loxus wandering around the map, and you've got oh. the option to fight him or something. Yeah, sure. I like that. Yeah, or, um, right. That'd be kind of interesting with the characters who aren't immediately in the guild or anything. Yeah. Until, like, that certain arc. Uh, yeah, until the specific moment, like, uh, Tenry Wild and Loxus wouldn't be on the yeah. overworld map anymore. Oh. Okay, about... Speaking of Tenryu Island, um, since Tenry Island is, like, separate, separated, like, um, like... <clears throat> Sorry, um, you have like different things to do, like go this path or go this path or go this path. I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me of like mini games in a way. You mean like Mario Party esque? No, I mean it's I'm like, thinking of I'm thinking of you see the signal flare. Do you go left and you think like Lucy's gonna be over there, or do you go right and help Gaji or something? Oh yeah, like that. You're playing as free, and it's like, do you go with Guild Arts and help out, uh, eventually help out Connor, or do you go to the left and try to find out some, where some of the other members are, and you eventually reach? I think that'd be kind of interesting in some situations, but if you do it too often, I mean, it would kind of be like someone would eventually just always pick right. Yeah, I think they should implement that in the game, though. Yeah. That would be kind of hot. Yeah. In, in certain arcs, that's an option, but it's not always in every arc. I mean, most. The structure of fairy tale fights is perfect for that kind of thing. Because you can say, like, uh. Oh, uh. Most fairy tale fights are Ares is fighting this guy, Nats is fighting this guy, Ares is fighting this guy, uh, Lucy is fighting Angel, Ares is getting healed or whatever. And, uh, it sets up for that specific situation. Hmm. Man, there are so many options for this. Yeah, I know. Oh, man. Like, um, I, I feel like this game has so much potential, but I was really. My problem is, I really wish um, either CC2 or Bando or Namkai would just go upon and making it. Yeah, I know. Because uh, like uh, last year, when they when Bando and Namco said they was gonna be releasing some big news, I swear 
I thought it was going to be fairy tale. <laughs> <laughs> you know I what I think? So I think that the coolest thing about maybe one of the coolest things about the idea of a fairy tale fighting game would be if it gets popular enough. Imagine a crossover. Oh, oh. oh. crossover <laughs> fighting game with Naruto Ninja Storm. And like DB and uh, One Piece and any other oh, like God, so <laughs> mind blown. <laughs> don't even like come, don't mention that because if that happens, we'll be the ones that'll call it, and we're just sitting there on the throne. We're like, yeah, we called it. Yeah, saving up our sixty bucks for the time when you can play as Naruto and I can play as Luffy, and then we'll see who <laughs> really wins in the Pirates vs. Ninja Debate, son. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. There's there's at least two more things that that I have on my mind. What? Okay, so I'm not sure if this would work out, but I would really like to have this implemented, because I'm pretty sure that all the other anime games have tried to do it, except for Dragon Ball Z, because they've done this. Create your own wizard. Okay, I was thinking about that. For quite a while, too, because I was thinking, because I think I was thinking about that last week. Cause I think he was able to do that in the portable games. I'm not even sure, because I haven't played it like in a while. Oh. But I oh. think making your own um, created character would be kind of hot from the fairy tale world. And you got different um, outfits, you know, from different characters too. Yeah. You can uh, equip, or you can, um, or you can have whatever spike style. And you got different oh, magic character. types that work well against one and not well against another. Yeah, you could pick what guild you want to be. This, you remember? Um, have you heard about what Mortal Kombat is doing? What, depending what, depending what faction you go to, you every time every time you win, you contribute towards that faction. Oh yeah. I think with that, with um, I think with that um mechanic, using with the guild, every time you fight um, whatever guild you pick. And if you win, you contribute to your guild, uh, becoming number one. That would also work well for the uh, team battle aspect that we were thinking about. Because let's say you join uh, Leon's guild, then you would yeah. have like a higher, uh, you would have a better like team attack with Leon than you would if you picked like Gray. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think we should do that. I think I think though, based on uh, I go on this like wiki, all of the uh, fairy tale wikis that are up, and trust me, there are quite a few. Um, people they do like uh, contests or statistics and ask people. Would you say uh, what guild would you join? You would not actually. You wouldn't believe how many people chose fairy tale. It was like seventy five percent of the voters chose fairy tale <laughs> at the end of the contest. And then it was like, uh, it was like 15 for Lima. No, it was like 15 for Sabretooth or something. I, <laughs> no, I mean, you, you can say it would be obvious, and it kind of is, but at the same time, it would introduce a really interesting element, so I think it's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, the last thing <laughs> I might want to talk about, well, if, if you have any other ideas, I'm, I'm all ears. <laughs> um, um, I'll talk about DLC, because I know they're going to do it. Oh, DLC! Every, every company always do it. Maybe uh, DLC. maybe maybe DLC like story chunks or like separate uh like filler arcs or something. DLC costumes. Uh, I'll just buy costumes. <laughs> story arcs cool too. Uh, no, please no. <laughs> <laughs> what does it go on? Uh, let me think. DLC would be pretty cool. You know, I want to talk about the cutscenes right now. Alright, alright. Um, the thing about the cutscenes would. would hold on, hold on, hold on. First off, animated or CGI? I don't know. Um, I think I'm, both of them have their potential. I mean, you could use like cutscenes straight from the anime with permission from uh, Mashima or whatever. No. I was no. I was thinking about in-game cutscenes, like half yes! the character. The in-game cutscenes should game. probably be like CGI or something. Yeah, like, like, for like the opening of the game that can be animated, but like for like cutscenes that like, let's just say. You're Urza, and you reach Loxus in the um, what's it called? In the fighting festival? Oh. No, that was it's like it was when um it was when Loxus like invaded Fairy Tale. Oh, that was that was uh. It was like the, it was like the church. <laughs> oh, the church <laughs> building, the same oh the Cardi Cathedral. Yeah, like as soon as you enter there, there's a cutscene, and it's like all CGI, and you're like, 
and it shows them talking and stuff. You you see like Mystigan fighting, and you don't have the option to fight as him yet until like you get to the endless arc. Yeah. Which, by the way, using uh, Mystigan, maybe like when you fight as him, you can only use uh, you can only fight against people who were in endless. Although that'd be uh, kind of. Oh, speaking of DLC, endless costumes. Oh, dude, yes. <laughs> But the question is, or how, it would probably be endless on, characters now. How would Wendy work? Oh! oh. <laughs> Remember when we took that quiz and got Edna Wendy? Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, you're quite like. Well how would she. how would Edna Wendy work? Would that be? Would that? I don't know. Uh, I, I guess. Not, it, okay. I didn't think about her too much. Ah, man. Oh, the last thing I want to bring up is the last thing that's on my mind is uh the intro scene of the game. I would pull. I would like to pull inspiration straight from RB two. Like you've got uh you've got Natsu fighting Zero on one set like around here, and then Erza fighting uh Erza fighting Azuma over here, and then Gray versus Leon, and then uh like someone else like Lucy versus Angel, and then they all come together, and it's the same kind of thing. Ah, true. <laughs> yeah. What if there was an intro scene? I would like it to have the first opening scene, opening uh, not the first opening scene, but the first opening music, or like um opening eight. Yeah. Okay, last thing I want to bring up. Boss battles. Oh, the boss battles better be hype. <laughs> the bo okay. One of the biggest inspirations for me, Natsu versus Jalal. That battle will be... <sighs> Standing between... Oh, God, that enemy is pressing. That battle will be overhyped to the point of Kingdom Come. That, that, Cause I, I watched that fight, and I'm looking like, oh man, like, it was so serious. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh man, I Did you eat anything? Um, let's see. I guess, I guess Natsu and Jalal versus Loxus would be pretty good. That would be insane. Oh yeah, that- Basically, no, basically, versus... boss battles would be either- would, no, not either. It would be both like the mid fight between the end of the arc and then the final fight between the arc in the arc. So like for example, the Atlas no not the Atlas, the uh Um the The Arc the Rashi on Sace arc. The mid um boss fight would be with Cobra and then and the final fight the final fight zero. would be against Zero. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think we got everything covered at this point. Basically. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, um, Bandai Namco or CC2, because I'm gonna I'm gonna link this towards the Twitter. CC2, you best be listening. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> y'all better be listening. Y'all better come up and think about, hey, you know, people want this. I'll also put the, I'll also show them the, what was it, the petition. Because yeah. when I, once I reach 200, I literally, once I reach 200, I'll literally try to uh, contact them. Alright. DLC, and, um, DLC, the fairy tale versus Rage Master OBA. Oh! oh. <laughs> I will literally make an intro for this game. I literally will. Because no lie, if, if this wasn't coming out, if this game was never going to be made, uh, I'm currently trying to figure out how to make character models. True. So, I feel yeah, like they would so, be like I feel like they would be ninjas like kinda like how the Ultimate Ninja Storm um games were made, like they would resemble the anime but except they would be like three D and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Or it could be like a two D You can do like two D three D how like Hogan Tekken is. Yeah. Or like two point five D. What if blue thing had an anime background? Yeah. But I feel like it. I feel like it would be best in like three D, just like Naruto oh, yeah. Storm. That's, right. that's, that's the only way I can truly think about it. Yeah, I know. Like Storm three or like um Raging Blast two, basically. Yeah. Well, if you need, if you want to talk about anything else, we're totally open. We're even pulling an all nighter. Yeah. I'm trying to think anything else at all. 
I've been trying. I've been thinking about this for the past while. Same. And, and I'm like, <laughs> this needs to happen. I mean, so, the the hype and the potential is real. Cause it is real. I'm getting I'm getting like messages every day from different fans. Cause ever since I released that petition video, everybody been you know, talking to me about it, and they want it. <laughs> <laughs> Same. <laughs> <laughs> like yo, when I like mentioned this, like a bunch of people <laughs> um responded, and one person was like, "Yeah, let's do it for the fairy tale guild," and they put it in they put it in quotation marks, holds up the L shaped sign. <laughs> yes, and that, that was, like, scene needs to be in the game. It will, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, people are inspired by this." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh but yeah, if there's anything you need, just let us know. All right. Yeah, let us know. Yeah, please. Yeah. Uh, I'm honored to even be a part of this thing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we're probably, probably going to be doing more of this, probably. Oh, yeah. big time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm not backing down trying to make this happen, because I'm going to go full force. Sam. Hopefully, hopefully they know and all is, you know, we want this. I'm gonna try to get Blade Dragon to show me his skills as a soldier in TF2. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> alright, well, I guess I'm this fun. is it. See, see you next time, alright? Yeah. <laughs> this is Blade yeah, Dragon and Guest signing yeah, out. Hey, yeah. I'm supposed to say yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. fine then! <laughs> alright, this is the Blade Dragon, and I'll see you next time. And other guests. Jesus! <laughs>